Last weekend was Pride here in Cardiff. And as I usually do, I took part in the Pride Parade on the Saturday morning, uh, marching around the streets of Cardiff. That went on till about lunchtime, and then I grabbed a sandwich. And then I decided to do something I've not done before. And I really wasn't sure whether uh, it would work, but I kind of had had an inkling that it's something that I should do. Uh, I put on my, my rainbow stole and I put around my neck a big sign that said, free blessings, free blessings. And I decided I was just going to walk around and see what was going to happen. And pretty much as soon as I put the sign on, someone said, oh, can I have a free blessing? And I said, yeah, of course you can. Um, asked for their name and I asked if I could put my hand on their shoulder. And then I gave them a blessing. I said, may their life be full of love. May they be fully awake to the glory of their own life and their own gifts in this world. May they know their own power. And may the love of God be with them. A few simple words. And it happened again. I really wasn't sure whether it would happen, it would work at all. I wasn't, I didn't approach anyone. I didn't go up to anyone or, or, or kind of uh, force anything on anyone. I just walked around. I just walked around with the sign around my neck saying free blessings and my rainbow stole and people stopped me. I walked through the park. I walked through the big queer picnic where lots of people were there enjoying uh, the sunshine and the shade of the trees and people stopped me and I walked out and over the bridge and along the street outside the castle and people stopped me. People stopped me and said, yeah, can I have a blessing? Can I have a blessing? Can I have a blessing? It actually really surprised me. I had no idea if this would work at all. And it actually really surprised me how many people when offered a blessing said yeah or you know proactively shouted out to me can i have a blessing and i blessed i blessed i, I don't know more than more than 20 people in a very short amount of time and i felt really blessed by that experience you know usually um i would feel quite low energy after i've done the march on pride saturday you know i've got a you know early-ish and waited around kind of for the parade to start and you're waiting around and you've got that kind of waiting around kind of ache in your legs and then you're walking kind of you know slowly through the streets up and down the streets of Cardiff um, and it's great and I love it and it's great atmosphere and there's a party atmosphere and it's a celebration and it's a protest and it's a party and it's great but then usually kind of by lunchtime I'm feeling a bit oh, low energy but this time I felt really buoyed up and I felt really blessed by this ministry of blessing. And I've been thinking about why was it so, um, why was it so needed by some? Why was, did people, why was it more successful than I even thought it would be? You know, why was it so uh, uh, needed or, or wanted by so many people and even you know what is a blessing you know i've said like, oh, i'm offering free blessings and thought what actually is you know, what is a blessing i think a blessing is something that's very powerful i mean human touch is always very powerful to to have a hand on your 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 shoulder or your head uh, that is in itself is powerful and it's powerful to you know receive that blessing to know that you are loved that you're alive, that you are connected, that you're awake, that you're full of this glorious existence of being alive. And to know that you're held in, in struggles, in difficulties, in all the 
the ups and downs of life. And maybe we as queer people need that blessing more because of being told that we're not worthy, that that that, that our cells and our, our bodies are not worthy and not holy. Um, maybe queer and trans people need that blessing more than anyone. But at the same time, maybe we know it more than anyone. Maybe queer and trans people kind of know because we've gone through the suffering, we've gone through the the the, the self awareness and the self examination and and the 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 working through ourselves to be ourselves because we've gone through that process, which is a spiritual process that is always gonna change you a bit. It's always gonna 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 actually help you to think of what is real and what is not real in that sense of self because we've gone through that. We know maybe more than others that we are these glorious, unique beings and that we can celebrate that and, and, and love knowing that we are blessed and that we are a blessing in the world. Because blessing is not um it's not a magic thing. It's not that I've got some magic holiness that i'm dispensing blessing like everything really in the spiritual life is about intensifying something that is already true it's about awakening to greater awareness of that which is already true that we are connected to this earth with our bodies that we are connected to one another in one humanity that we are connected, that we are alive, that we are gloriously existing and gloriously loved by a greater power. We know that that is the universal reality. And blessing just is a reminder of that. And we can bring that a little bit to life, to everyday life. Because if we go through life a little bit with that, sense of blessing and being blessed with it with an awakeness to that you know as happened by me doing that walking the streets and and, and sort of trying to look a little bit friendly with a slight smile on my face and, and being asked to bless and myself being blessed in the act of blessing others and i felt that i'm alive to to my connection to this city and to these people um, to everyone around me. But that's an awareness of what is already there, that we can walk along every street and feel, how can I be a blessing and be blessed? How can I maybe just a little bit, just a little bit, have an awareness and an awakeness um, to know the blessing that I'm receiving in this world and the blessing that I'm able to give to others.